look, I, I, I've said before, I think that, you know, um, there's no way I would be able to play this this part if uh, if I wasn't a, a husband and, and a father. You know, I think it, it all just sort of starts there. Mm. Um, y- y- you know, it, um, if I was a more skilled actor, I would tell you that um, I had a wonderful time in New York and I was at bars and restaurants and enjoying myself and being with friends. Uh, uh, that's not how I do it. You know, I, I have to get into a pretty uh, dark mindset and uh, isolate myself. Um, it's just the only way that I really know how to work these days. And, uh, you know, that's, um, that's kind of what I, what, what, what I did. Yeah, but I mean, it's, you know, anything worthwhile is I, I look I look at playing this part uh, as a huge responsibility and honor you know um, I think he's a character that means a great deal to a lot of people I think when you look at um, comics um, you know comic book uh, in uh, the comic book audience um, you know you're looking at captions with 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 a few words and I think it requires the audience to infuse a ton of their own imagination um, which means that they have a very personal relationship with the characters that they're, they're, they're reading about. Um, so uh, this character's been around for a long time. It means a lot to a lot of people. He's a character that's resonated deeply with the law enforcement community, with the military community. Um, the American military has had soldiers that have used the Punisher emblem and as they've gone into battle. They've, they've had it on their body armor. They've had it on their equipment, on their tanks. Uh, men have died, you know, fighting in wars with that emblem, uh, you know, that, that they decided that that emblem made them feel strong or made them feel bold or, and, and gave them the courage to go forward. So that's something I take uh, enormously seriously. It's a show that was very successful in its first season that I had absolutely nothing to do with. So uh, I've never been in that position before coming on as a new guy. And uh, I didn't want to be, I, I, I don't want to be the guy that, that, that screwed everything up. Um, so I, I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure, and, and so, yeah, it's hard work, but it's, it's the only way, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it, like I said, it's not fun, man, you know, it's not, uh, but, but um, you know, I'm, I, you, you know, it's a, it's a, it's it's it, like I said before. It's it's, it's an honor, you know. Like I have never been, you know, at this stage of my life, you know. It's I I you know things that are hard or things that scare me or things that challenge me is exactly where I where I want to be. And 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 uh, you know, there's a Grateful Dead quote. You know, anybody who sweats like that must be all right. Like I I always wanna I always wanna be working hard. I don't I don't I'm not interested in this being easy at all. We, we cross that bridge when we get to it, you know what I mean? And, and um, you know, if, if, if you should, you know, I think um, you, you, you take it sort of one, one job at a time. And, and I, it's, I'm not a stranger to uh, dark, dark characters, you know. I've, I've, I've done it before. And, you know, um, I do believe that you lose a bit of yourself each, each time and you leave some of yourself, you know, it's like leaving it on the field. You, 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 you leave something there. But I think that uh, this is a profession um, that saved my life. I care about it uh, enormously. My, my work and my family is, that's, that's all I have. That's everything. And um, I, I, I really, I don't, I don't have any interest in, in it being easy now. You know, maybe that will change. I, I definitely had a, 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 a troubled past, you know, I definitely wasn't headed in the, the best direction when, when uh, you know, the decision to become an actor and when acting came into my life, it, I very much feel like it saved my life, it gave me, sent me on a completely different direction, um, made me grow up, made me become a man, um, it's afforded me, uh, the fact that I actually get paid to do it now is uh, an absolute you know, miracle and dream and uh, something I'm extremely grateful for and I feel like it's a huge blessing and the fact that, uh, you know, I have, uh, I have a family and, and, and I can, you know, afford to 
live in a house and be, you, you, you know take care of my family because uh, I get paid to do what I love. It's a it's a dream come true. So I I uh, I, I, I I feel real blessed. You know, at this point now, I mean, I could sneeze and it'll break. It's also, you know, you can move all the, the, the bones. It's so disgusting. But, uh, um, yeah, so I, I, I stopped counting. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't, I don't think there are any more, I don't think there are any more breaks on, on Daredevil. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, look, the the action sequences, you know, they, they, they were very uh, sort of revered and celebrated in season one, and I think very well deserved, you know. Um, it's unbelievably ambitious, the, the action sequences on this show. Uh, you, you know, it's movie-level action scenes on television, you know. And in a movie, you get months and months and months to prepare and rehearse. Um, you know what the action scene is. You know when you're going to shoot it. In television, it's week by week. So um, the usually uh, in TV, when there's a fight scene, it's very limited. It's very small. You shoot it from a couple different angles. You get the stunt guys in, sell the hits. That's it. Um, this is completely different. It's beautifully choreographed. It's character based and it's story driven. So. Um, you know, it's not just fighting for the sake of fighting. There's a story behind it. And you'll see as you see more episodes, uh, Frank's fighting becomes more and more and more. As his character kind of goes into a darker descent uh, and the stakes get higher and higher and higher, you'll see his fighting gets more and more and more brutal. And there's uh, two fights in particular with Frank uh, at the end of the season that are go going to be as, as violent as anything I think has ever been on television before. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's hard, you know. It's 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 definitely hard. I, I was a, a high school and college athlete, you know. I was a boxer. Um, physicality and 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 and, and uh, the physical stuff usually comes really easy to me. I feel much more comfortable with that. Um, but this was as hard uh, a thing to do physically as anything I've ever been through in my life. The show.